In this tutorial, we're going to see how we can use RTP MIDI via the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus, along with a surface control application, to control our door wirelessly. This is a very convenient method to have hands-free operation of your door or other equipment, and is particularly extensible to front of house situations, live DJ situations, remote mic room control of your door, or any circumstance where you have a physical separation between your control surface and your equipment. We'll see how to do that using the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus. One way to connect to the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus Ethernet ports is by using an operating system RTP MIDI application. Here in MacOS, as part of the audio MIDI setup, you can see the Ethernet ports as part of the network section. You can click on a given Ethernet port and connect to it like so. Here I've connected port 2 and that will be visible to my door. And that's one way to get access to the Ethernet ports. But in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus along with iConfig to do the hardwired routing which cuts out the operating system and gives us better response. Windows does not come with RTP MIDI by default. But if you download and install iTunes that will install the Apple Bonjour Discovery Service on your PC. After you've done that, obtain the RTP MIDI program from the internet, install it, and then you have a control panel that's very similar to the one on MacOS. And here again, I've selected Ethernet port 2 as the one I'm connecting to. Here I'm going to use iConfig, however, to set up a hardwired route between Ethernet port 4 and port 14 on device jack 3. This is sending MIDI information from the Ethernet back to my door. Here I'm also now going to route the output from port 14 on USB 3 to Ethernet port 4. This gives me bi-directional control for a surface. Next inside my door, I'm going to add support for that control surface by adding a piece of external hardware. And many control surfaces and programs emulate a Mackie control surface, so that's what we'll add will receive from port 314 and will also send to port 314 so that we have bi-directional control from and to the door. Now you can see that control surface appears in my list of devices. And for Studio One that's all we need to do. Your mileage may vary for your particular door. Now I'm going to use an iPad wirelessly running the Lima application with a template that allows me to control my door. You'll see that as I move sliders, they move here on the iPad, and in a moment when I've connected it, you'll see that we can control our door wirelessly. There are also transport controls and various other features available to you in templates like this. So, wireless control of our door via the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus using RTP MIDI. We're going to control the door that is reading the information from the same setup that we used in a previous tutorial where we're sequencing various synthesizers and two iPads connected to the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus using a sequencer running on a third iPad that is connected via an iConnect MIDI 1 to the DIN ports on the front. This iPad is a fourth iPad added to this setup that I can hold in my hand and control my door with. I'm going to show you that by doing a screen insert alongside my door as I do the recording live. So now I'm going to show how we use this iPad to control the faders on the door. The first thing I'm going to do is to start the NetMIDI application on the iPad. When you see things on the iPad, they're actually being run live on the iPad. Now I've got that open, I'm going to choose Ethernet port 4. When I do that, you'll see you get a blue check mark in the NetMIDI application that says that's the Ethernet port we're listening to for our network session. Now I'm going to start the Lima application and that will be used to control my door. First thing is I'm going to make sure that Lima knows about the network session that I have connected via the ETH4 port. Once I've got that connected, now if I move a slider in my application on the iPad, you'll see the slider move in the door at the same time. I'm moving that on the iPad, not in the door. It's however sending the correct information via the iConnect MIDI plus. But this is bi-directional, so if I change a slider in my door, 
it will also change the corresponding slider in the application, sending the MIDI out via the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus to the control surface application and its bi-directional control surface setup. You also have various other features here, for example, to map all the sliders so that whatever their current settings are, are read by the application and uh, you can then change them on the door or in the application itself. There are also uh, various other settings, for example, for the volume. Here, if I have a look at the volume fader, I've got three other faders here that are not shown. But if I have a look at the master out uh, volume and change that, you'll see that when I change that in my door, that actually again changes that in the application. And you could, for example, mute or solo or do anything else similar. I can change that also in the application and it will change it in the door as we have seen in a bi-directional fashion. I have transport controls as well. So if, for example, I now make a recording of the sequence that you may have seen in a previous tutorial, we'll see how that works to control the door when we click on record in the app. Now I'm going to stop that and uh, you'll see that it stops the recording and now I can also return the recording uh, to the start point and you'll see it's returned to the start point as well. So we have bi-directional control of our door from our app and vice versa using the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus to send the RTP MIDI information to and fro. So using the Ethernet port on the back of the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus in conjunction with routing possibilities in iConfig with direct hardware routing, we can send Ethernet-based MIDI information to and from hardwired and wireless devices through our iConnect MIDI 4 Plus for direct hardware control even at a distance.